Hello, welcome to the Buckeye Boys Cooking Show. Hey John, how you doing? So me and John and Keaton, we is all outside. We just took a motorcycle ride a little bit ago. Well, I was in the dirt. And we said, hey, I thought, uh, I was, I'm hungry. You know, he was saying, I'm always hungry. But you know, John was hungry too. And I said, well, what we got in there to eat? And we looked around and we found a bunch of stuff, but nothing like normal food. So we sat down and for about, it's been probably an hour and a half, two hours ago. Yeah. We sat down, started think. drawing and writing in a notebook, and we come up with a recipe for the stuff we got right here at the clubhouse. A brand new thing. Nobody's ever had that. But it's going to be good. I think it's going to well, take off. It's going to be popular with pretty much everybody in the world, I think. Especially French people, I think it's going to like yeah. this. Because this is really, got a lot of butter in it. And you know how the French are about butter. So anyway... First thing you want to do is get yourself some condensed tomato soup, right? And put it in a pan, just like that. And then fill the, the thing up about halfway with water, like Joe. And you swirl it around. You don't want too much water. It says use a whole can. You don't want to do that for this recipe, okay? We know what we're doing. Just just follow along closely as you can. So what you want to do is turn the heat on, you know, about medium or so. And you want to make sure you stir this up good. Stir it up good. Then you want to, what we're going to do is bring this to a boil. I'm going to call it a, a slow boil. This kind of boil we've come up with. And uh, you'll see. You'll see. Here we go. You want to get out your grill. Make sure your little grease catcher's in there. I don't know what. Or you want to set it to level. I don't know. Some people say like this. We pull ours out and see it goes towards the grease hole. We don't want that. We want level. Turn that on to about 350 fucking degrees. Okay, now that's the plan. We figured this out. We used high school physics. We know what we're doing. So you're going to have to just agree. Okay. Now what you want to do, get out some butter. Is that one lonely farmer? Yeah. Why are you always watching him? We're gay! I'm starting to wonder. You just take your butter and you just kind of butter your grill here. You just kind of butter it. You're going to put more and more and more butter on it as you go. Just keep it going. You'll know. You'll know. When that butter starts a bubbling, you know it's about time to do the next stick. And the next step, we're going to use this here IGA white bread. You don't want to use brown bread or whole grain bread or potato bread, rice br patties or, or rice cakes. You don't want to use your flat bread. flat bread. No, you don't want to use pancakes. No. <laughs> you, know, uh, you don't want to use pita bread. You want to use IGA white bread. Now, if you ain't got an IGA in there yet, you're out of luck. I don't know if you can make this. I doubt it. You just put it on this here grill. See, lots of it, not a little bit. You want a lot. Fill that grill up. Fill that darn thing up. You just wait a few minutes. Not very many. But while we're doing that, we'll come back over here and see how we're doing. And we got a slow boil going. Yes, it's very slow. A very slow boil. But I also can feel that shit. Hunks of tomatoes burning to the bottom of the pan because I haven't been stirring it enough. So keep stirring it. Keep stirring. This is a sort of a gourmet meal and it takes a lot of... Uh, a patience and practice it's not something most of you probably be able to get right the first time but uh, you just keep trying and we guarantee you you'll learn things from us we can teach you we can teach you let's push this grill aside here while it keeps working for us and we're going to take out what we call the cheese this is super sharp cheddar 
because that is what's in the refrigerator. It must be the best thing. Now, where in the hell is a cheese cutter? It was up there this morning. Yeah, I cut a piece of cheese off this and ate it a couple days ago. You want to cut half as many pieces of cheeses as you have bread on the grill. So we got nine, we're just gonna cut four. Now let's cut five. Let's do this, do this unproper proper like. Oh, now when that happens, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, there's no, uh, there's no fine for that. It will happen. Two, three, four, here we go, fifth piece. Now pay attention, folks. As you see over here, the bread is starting to burn. That's exactly what we want. Because we're going to take and turn them over now. See that? Turn them over. All of them. Just like so. Oh, yeah. Some of them's done more than others. It depends where the element is in your grill. As you can see, ours is hottest near the top. That's fine. That's what that's what we want to do. Now we have some cheese over here. It's been cheese. Uh, butter over here's been sitting out so it would get nice and soft. Did you want to just cake butter on that now? Margarine. Just cake it. Now real butter, please. No no margarine, no fakety dakety. Real butter, please. Okay. How about some more? We'll keep doing. I mean, just cake it on there like you don't give a damn about your health. <laughs> what you do? Because the truth is, one of these days, if they haven't found out by the time this video goes up, they're going to find out soon that butter is one of the healthiest things you can put in your body. And then what you want to do is slip on a secret recipe. <laughs> put a little cheese in there. People have never seen this stuff done like this. Now I know this is new and probably strange to you all. It'll work, it'll work. We it'll figured work. it out on paper, so we know this is going to work. It's a mathematical thing. It's mathematically correct. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Now this one, it doesn't have a little brother go along with it. It's sad. <laughs> That's okay. It'll all be fine. You see how these are burning? We want to start turning this down now about 300. And then we want to do this. We don't want to burn our butter. We want to just wipe that right through the butter like you just don't give a damn. The butter is probably the most important part of any meal. That one, that's okay. Do that. We'll push him up there. Push them up there. Oh, oh, hot, 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 hot. Should be doing it with a spatula, but no. Stir the, uh, uh, what do you call that, John? Uh, tomato soup. Stir it more. You don't want it burning in the pan. You just want to barely keep it warm now. Right there on that plate, four of them. Yeah, we'll arrange them nice and neat. We're going to have to give them things some sort of name. I don't know what to call them. Bread with cheese. <laughs> Breaded cheese. Sandwiches. Grilled cheese. I think we ought to call it breaded cheese casserole. That's a good idea. Breaded cheese casserole from the Buckeye Boys. Don't worry about what your mama told you was proper. <laughs> do what I tell you to do. You didn't get this far today by listening to your mother, did you? Here's what we got. This is your final. This is a little a done a little more, and this one's done medium, and this one's rare. Now, you'll have different people in your family, and they all want something different. Best thing to do is just haphazardly do everything. Somebody's going to be happy. Somebody's not. Don't worry about it. You can't make everybody happy. <laughs> so here we go. Especially if you got a John Gruel in your family. Oh. Hey, he didn't put no mustard on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, folks, here we're going to do the taste test. What does John think? It tastes like toasted cheese. <laughs> what do you think? It tastes like tomato soup. Mmm. 
I don't know. I ain't tried it yet. Let's. You know, I was the cook, so you know it. I don't get anything until it's cold. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. That is perfect. I am glad we invented that, John. Took yeah. a lot of thinking. I think that's going to take over. I mean, that's going to be something big. Probably in French restaurants. Mmm. Well, I hope you guys learned a little bit about how to invent your own food. Probably not. But, in any case, we're going to eat. So you guys have a good day. <laughs>